Market occurs where buyers and sellers meet to exchange money for goods. In a market, the consumers and producers react differently to price changes, higher prices tend to reduce demand while encouraging supply, and lower prices increase demand while discouraging supply. Market equilibrium is the state in which market supply and demand balance each other, and as a result prices become stable. Economic theory suggests that, in a free market there will be a single price which brings demand and supply into balance, called equilibrium price. Generally, an oversupply of goods or services causes prices to go down, which results in higher demand, while an undersupply or shortage causes prices to go up resulting in less demand. The balancing effect of supply and demand results in a state of equilibrium. When the supply and demand curves intersect, the market is in equilibrium. This is where the quantity demanded and quantity supplied are equal. The corresponding price is the equilibrium price or market clearing price. The quantity is the equilibrium quantity. Market equilibrium price is also called market clearing price because at this price the exact quantity that producers take to market will be bought by consumers, and there will be nothing left over. When the market is in equilibrium, there is no tendency for prices to change. We say the market clearing price has been achieved, this is efficient because there is neither an excess of supply and wasted output, nor a shortage, the market clears efficiently. This is a central feature of the price mechanism, and one of its significant benefits. The weekly demand and supply schedule for a brand of soft drink at various prices between 0 rupees and 80 rupees is shown here. As we can see here, this market will be in equilibrium at a price of 30 rupees per soft drink, at this price the demand for drinks by students equals the supply, and the market will clear, 1000 drinks will be offered for sale at 30 rupees and 1000 will be bought, there will be no excess demand or supply at 30 rupees as we can see in this figure. So, how is equilibrium established? At a price higher than equilibrium, demand will be less than 1000 but supply will be more than 1000 and there will be an excess of supply in the short run. Graphically, we see that demand contracts inwards along the curve and supply extends outwards along the curve, both of these changes are called movements along the demand or supply curve in response to a price change. Demand contracts because at the higher price, the income effect and substitution effect combine to discourage demand and demand extends at lower prices because the income and substitution effect combine to encourage demand. In terms of supply, higher prices encourage supply, given the supplier's expectation of higher revenue and profits, and hence higher prices reduce the opportunity cost of supplying more, lower prices discourage supply because of the increased opportunity cost of supplying more, the opportunity cost of supply relates to the possible alternative of the factors of production. So. How do changes in equilibrium occur? Graphically, changes in the underlying factors that affect demand and supply will cause shifts in the position of the demand or supply curve at every price. Whenever this happens, the original equilibrium price will no longer equate demand with supply, and price will adjust to bring about a return to equilibrium. Let's look at an example of changes in equilibrium. If there is a particularly hot summer, Students may prefer to drink more soft drinks at all prices, as indicated in the new demand schedule here. At the higher level of demand, keeping the price at 30 rupees would lead to an excess of demand over supply, with demand at 1400 and supply at 1000, with an excess of 400, this will act as an incentive for the seller to raise price, to 40 rupees, equilibrium will now be re-established at the higher price. There are four basic causes of a price change. Cause number one, an increase in demand shifts the demand curve to the right, and raises price and output. Cause number two, a decrease in demand shifts the demand curve to the left and reduces price and output. Cause number three, an increase in supply shifts the supply curve to the right, which reduces price and increases output. Cause number four. A decrease in supply shifts the supply curve to the left, which raises price but reduces output. The entry and exit of firms and shift in market equilibrium. In a competitive market, firms may enter or leave with little difficulty. Firms may be attracted into a market for a number of reasons, 
but particularly because of the expectation of profit, this causes the market supply curve to shift to the right, rising prices may provide a sufficient incentive and provide a signal to potential entrants to enter the market. There is a chain reaction, starting with an increase in demand, from D to D1, this raises price to P1, which provides the incentive for existing firms to supply more, from Q to Q1. The higher price also provides the incentive for new firms to enter, and as they do the supply curve shifts from S to S1, a market where prices are rising provides the best opportunity for the entrepreneur, conversely, lower prices encourage firms to leave the market.